высочайшем весе Альберт Принц Пагара! Фискова бокса Альберт Альба Батыр Газиев! World 60 kilo title. So there's 132 pounds rather than the 130 pounds of super featherweight. Badagaziev in the dark green, black and gold Pagara in the luminous green. Just chipping away with the jab there, Badagaziev goes up and down with it. He's got a long, long reach on him. Wide shoulders. Pretty wide stance, he's got that nice balance. Steal that left hand into the body there. It was a really good performance against John O'Carroll. As I say, he touched down with the glove and it should have been called a knockdown in the early rounds. He was caught with a right hook high on the head and Carroll went after him from the start, actually. He said during the week that, yes, OK, fine, he was a very, very good amateur, but that didn't mean that he would make a good pro. He was going to drag him in deep and see if he could swim. And as it turned out, he very much could. But I think it was the right thing for Carroll to try and do. And he gave it every shot, really. But Badagaziev was up to the challenge. Pagara not offering too much early on here. Good work to the body there for Badagaziev. Nice variation. Pagara just tucking up in that opening round. And Not quite in range just yet, Badagaziev in this round. Pagara, let's go with a, a right hand. Just holding out that left hand to try and keep Badagaziev at bay, just to block his vision slightly. Badagaziev goes to the body and then just tries to curl cool that left hand in round the back there. Just turn the fist over, turn the knuckles over. Pagara out of range there. He's staying on the borderline at best. Badagaziev working to the body. He's not done anything at all yet, Albert Pagara, really. It is early, of course. Steps in and looks to let a 1 2 go there. I do wonder how ambitious he's going to be here, though, if I'm honest.
Not putting too much on these punches, Badagazio, just working those hands, moving those hands. He knows that there's not much coming back here from Pagara, who might just come back with the, the odd flurry. I think this may be what we see here when you've got an opponent who is looking to kind of tuck up really, not give an awful lot away and then mount the, the odd attack. In other words, not be particularly ambitious. This is kind of what you get. He, he will throw the odd flurry, but go into the third. Just dipping his knees there, Badagazia, working down to the body. And he's using that reach, keeping this at distance. Good left hand there. Bagara steps in and throws the one two. Again, just switching up there, Badagaziev. And this is what he's doing so far. You can see he's not putting loads into these punches. He's just letting his hands go. And again, he's looking for that left hand in round the back there. He's slinging it in, kind of lassoing it in, trying to find a gap around the back of that right glove to connect with the knuckles. Stop! Time. Please. Is the shoelace undone? I think that could be the problem. He was just blinking his eye at touch there, Pagara, as well. Box. Nice solid one, two there from Badagaziev, and that's backed him up. Pagara, I think, felt that one, unless he's just trying to sucker him into the corner, into the final minute of round three. He's trying to keep that guard high. The Filipino, left to the body from Badagaziev. Manages to find his way out of the corner eventually there, Pagara. And I think what we have here is what we had in the previous fight, and I suspected we might, which is a big difference in levels between these two fighters. Pagara, I think, will stick to his task in the way that Leon Half did to an extent, slightly different stylistically, but just as Gadzhi Magomedov was a lot better than Leon Half, Albert Badagaziev, I think it's quite apparent, is a lot better than Albert Pagara. Into the fourth, and Badgaziev again just stepping in there and looking to let those hands go. Pagara, a little bit bolder there, comes forward and tries to throw that right hand. And the first three rounds of 
gone by and he's three rounds down Pagara and he'll be aware that he needs to Kid up, kid do up. something. I think there's been a clash of heads there. Has there been a cut on the forehead there of Pagara? He's dabbing at the forehead. I don't think there is necessarily. It could be hard for fighters to tell because you have a clash of heads and you'll feel that bit of warmth, whether it's just the, the blood coming to the surface of a slight bruise or it's an actual cut and it's difficult to know what it is. So that's often why you'll see a fighter dab with the glove and then look at the glove just to check. But there again, just nice. He sinks that head in between those big shoulders and makes himself quite a difficult target to find. And he'll know that he's probably booking in for a long job here because, well, Pagara just shaking up that left hand. Maybe there's a slight problem with that left arm now. And again, he's just been tattooed there by Badagaziev who is going through the protest here, trying to break his man down. If you're up against somebody who is looking to not give too much away and is more defensively minded, then what it means is they'll be braced for most of what you throw. And if a pro fighter is braced for punches, then they can generally take them and survive them. And that's why the, the variety of angle, of punch, of weight of punches really important here for Badagaziev because he's got to try and hit Pagara with something that he's not really ready for. So he has to dress it up in a way that he doesn't quite see it coming or it crashes through with a bit more power than he's really expecting. Again, he just shakes out that lead hand there, Pagara. I think there is something wrong. Or it could be that he's laying the foundations for a for a retirement. Again, that might sound like a harsh thing to say, but he is getting worked over. Good job. Smile there from Pagara. Touch of gloves. Well, this is the problem that we spoke about previously with that lead arm, with that left arm. And I did say that he'd been shaking it out, that there was an issue. And I did also say that possibly he was laying the foundation for a corner retirement, and that is what has happened. I'm not saying that the injury isn't genuine. I would not accuse a fighter of that, but he was up against it in there. It was only heading one way, and if there was also a problem with the left arm there, then rather than just tough this out for round upon round when you've only got one arm in operation and you're up against somebody who's quite simply a lot better than you then the wise thing to do is to is to pull out which is техническим нокаутом в пятом раунде победу одержал и остается чемпионом мира IBA Альберт Альба Батыр Газия!